Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Uh, this is going to be an August spirit message I'm reading for the collective, but if anything resonates, please like, share and subscribe and it helps my channel grow. Uh, the September readings are up, there's other spirit messages and weekly readings are up if you want to look at them. But spirit, can you please show me the message for Gemini? Whoa. Mending. So this is a seven, this is a spiritual card, so this could be healing yourself and tying up loose ends. It could be, um, I don't know why I'm pausing here, but there's a big pause. It's like somebody wants to take a breath. Um, it could be healing things, uh, situations or people, um, you know, making up with people, anything like that. I don't know why there was a pause there, but I Maybe somebody's going to have to think about it. Listen to your intuition, yeah. Think about this. So it might not be as simple as it's sounding to some of you. Get more information. So you might it might do to look at something more closely here and get more details about it, and it could help you go forward and mend things and improve things. So things could improve as well. Going towards improvements here. The Seven of Swords. There's your information, the Eight of Wands. But it's going to bring it in. The Queen of Wands. Beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy here. So what we've got here is if there's been any lies, cheat, disappointing, deception, it will be different for everyone, different degrees of it. It's about looking at that. There's information coming in that's going to help you how you want to deal with this. It might be something you have to mend. It might be something that you're going to just walk away from and heal yourself. But there's good news coming in. Him. This could be you taking the information that you've learned and walking away from something as well. So through doing that, there's going to be good news that comes in. Either way, there's good news here. Now, this is news that's going to move you on. It's going to be something that you're going to want to hear. It could be emails. It could be texts. It could be, um, you know, going on a holiday. It could be travel. It could be moving home. So, you know, if there's been some sort of deception or things like that and you've left that behind, there's good news coming in for you that's going to move you on. So this is a movement card. It's things that are going to make you happy. It's good news. There's good news that's going to heal you here. And this is going to help you create this beautiful, passionate, bring you into this beautiful, passionate, creative energy. So this is information of some description that Spirit's going to bring forward or you're going to learn about. And it's going to put you in a very good position to go forward to what it is you want to create for yourself here. So there's healing here as well. Healing and mending and going towards what it is you want for you. And the reason I'm saying that is because we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. Now, this could be walking away from a relationship where there's been deception. Uh, could be settlements coming through, you know, if you've showed a house or any kind of good news that the divorce is closed and you're coming into this beautiful single type energy because this can be a single person. It can be single life. It doesn't have to be that. It could be you making good decisions for yourself, being confident in the way you want to go forward, knowing what you need to do, where you need to invest your time and your energy and who you need to invest your time and energy in for to create lovely, um, passionate things around you, things that are going to make you happy. So this could be, like I say, it could be you. Now, what she does here is she's got a certain amount of stability, but she knows because she's very confident. So when people look at this, this person here, I'm saying she, it could be, it's not gender specific. This is somebody who appears to be very stable, very in control of their life, in control of themselves, and does very, is very established. So people are looking at you. You could be somebody who somebody sees as an attractive proposition here. And this could be romantic news that's coming forward. You're going to have to listen to your intuition over. Somebody may be telling you how you feel because they've found out you're single. And it's going to move you on from all the deceit that's went on in your past relationships, for example. So it could be that. It could be in your work life, people recognising your skills. So it's going to heal you. You know, you're going to, there's information coming in. So it might be boosting your confidence here because she's got very high self-esteem. So good news about a job opportunity or somebody respecting the skills that you have 
or the way you go about yourself. So it's very, very good energies here. You're always listening to your intuition when it comes to information that's coming forward and decisions that have to be made. There's the Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. The eight of uh, the Nine of Cups, beg your pardon, the Nine of Cups. The Seven of Cups, beautiful. The Devil Energy. This has come out a few times. I hadn't seen it for a long time and it's been coming out recently. And the Eight of Swords. So like I say, if there's been deception or any kind of thing in your life that you're going to have to make a decision over, you've been putting off and you're overthinking it, what Spirit's saying here is that you need to get more information to enable you to make this decision to move you on from anything that's toxic, deceitful, uh, environments that aren't serving you well. There's a decision going to have to be made here. Now, there's information coming in that's going to help you move away from any anything that's holding you back. So it could be fear-based. It could be you're not making this decision because you don't know what's going to happen further down the line. And it's your ego saying, oh, my goodness, you know, I'll never be able to do that course or I'll never be able to achieve that. It could be fear based ego, but that's not true. So you might have been putting that decision off because you're lacking confidence. But what I'm saying to you here is the nine of pentacles, she's got a certain amount of security and she's got a lot of confidence. And because of her confidence and she listens to her intuition, she can create what she wants for herself here. So this is a secret here, Gemini. It's about being confident and building on what you've got. And she knows where to put her energy. She's not putting her energies into toxic people, environments or situations. She knows exactly how much energy to, to give to, to certain areas of her life to stay in this beautiful, balanced, harmonious place. So we're going to have to look at that here. But we don't want to be overthinking something. If there's been deceit, lies, or uh, any kind of deception in the past, we don't want to be overthinking that because we want to be getting more information and listening to our intuition. This is a self-made mental prison where we're overthinking. So we want to put a stop to that and want to come into this beautiful, independent, creative energy. But like I say, there's information, there's news coming forward that's going to help you move on from these types of energies and that it'll help you make this decision on how you're going to go forward now. Because Spirit wants a brand new beginning for you. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It's a brand new beginning in stability. Like I say here, here's Pentacles. It's about your work life, your environments, your relationships, your financial situations. There could be a beautiful, you know, there might have been, you might have been working in a toxic work environment, but you're moving to, there's news of a new job coming in and people are respecting you, looking at you and valuing your skills and your ability and your stability. So this could be a better paid job, a new job, a new home coming in. Uh, a new relationship coming in where somebody is finding you attractive or you're finding someone else attractive but it's the start aces are the start of new beginnings the start of great stability that's coming in here because spirit wants all these blessings you're allowed to have all these blessings so we're healing from past disappointments and energies of people here we want to come away from the disappointing type of energy and we want to move forward in a positive assertive way listening to your intuition towards the blessings because spirit is wanting this brand new start and it's about what you want for yourself here it's about going towards your wish fulfillment getting what you want out of this situation so gather the information listen to your intuition make that decision and spirit's going to bring in news like i say that's going to help you but you're looking attractive uh, there could be attractive propositions coming that are going to heal everything from the past. So what we'll do is we will take, we'll clarify the devil card. Yes, there we go. So this is about moving on from stuck energies. It's about moving towards what you're passionate about here. This is the uh, page of wands. Um, this is movement. I beg your pardon, it's the Knight of Wands. Knights are movement. So you're moving towards, through making this decision, you're moving away from anything that was toxic. Now, this can also be, because it's the devil card, I'm clarifying, this could be somebody that's coming in and out of your life, that's maybe deceived you, led you to believe they were going to commit, and they're a fly by night. So we want to be making a decision about that. Uh, we don't want to be overthinking about it, but we want to go towards what makes us happy here. So we want the stability. 
We want the stability. We don't want a fly by night. We don't want somebody who's here today and gone tomorrow. This could be the, the letting down, the disappointment type of energy here. So we want to be mending things. So we want to be getting more information, listening to your intuition. The information is going to come in to help you make the decision if this is a fly by night person. Now, wands are Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. So this could be you moving towards great stability. It could be, like I say, a romantic person that comes in that's telling you how they feel about you and you're going to have a wonderful home life with them. It could be marriage. It could be a family or it could be a great job where your family is going to benefit and you're going to have all the abundance and all the blessings that the universe has to offer you. OK, so it's worth looking at things and making that decision here, Gemini. Let me just get one. Can we have one? Na nature signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. So it's being aware of things that are going on round about you as well. Okay? So I hope that helps, Gemini. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.